This question is a medium question. Well, we have to compare anaerobic cellular respiration as well as aerobic cellular respiration. And the key thing about this, once again, is to always look at the defining action verb at the very start. With a comparison, you want to talk about both similarities as well as differences. And there's plenty that we can talk about here. So, I think the easiest way to address this particular type of question is to acknowledge it first as a chemical type of equation. And if you draw out the chemical equation, you can look at the similarities and differences in a very simple form. So let's look at anaerobic cellular respiration first. So the key thing is that our substrate is glucose. So I'm going to put glucose here. Also known as C6H12O6. And what does that go? It doesn't have any oxygen because that's why it's anaerobic. And then that actually progresses towards um, two different things. So it could either become lactic acid if it was in a mammal. Or it could go to ethanol and carbon dioxide if not. If it's a yeast, for example. So these are two examples, it's not all encompassing. Whereas, let's think about aerobic cellular respiration. What happens there? First thing, glucose. Second thing, aerobic means that you need oxygen. You actually need six oxygens in this case. And what happens? It goes towards, um, you get ATP, you get lots of energy. You also get water, as well as carbon dioxide. And that's something that we forgot to mention at the very top, is the fact that you do get some energy, although you get a lot less. So now, this is what we have um, here. These are our chemical equations, which describe the processes of both anaerobic and aerobic cellular respiration. And notice how that takes up half of my page. You don't necessarily need to write this during the actual exam. You can just put this down in your scrap paper. But now this gives us a very good kind of framework to compare them. So now we're gonna draw a table. So anaerobic respiration on the left. as well as aerobic respiration on the right. And now we're going to compare them. So first of all, let's look at the left-hand side. Glucose and glucose. Um, so then these things are common. So glucose is substrate. And then we also write glucose is substrate. And now look, here's, the, here's the, there's a difference. Because straight away you can tell that there's no oxygen here. But there is oxygen here. So we can write that down at the bottom as well. So no oxygen required. Whereas oxygen is required. Okay. So that's on the left hand side. Now let's talk about the right hand side. So what commonalities are there here? First thing is that there's ATP. So everything in blue is similar. So energy is produced. This is how basic that they can get in um, IB biology. They can say that you just need to compare that both of them have energy being produced. So energy is produced energy is produced. However, the degree of energy is, is different. So this is lots of energy, whereas ATP on this side is few. So not that much energy. So let's put that down at the bottom. So little ATP produced. A lot of ATP produced. And now, what's our fi final thing? So let's look at another comparison. So over here, carbon dioxide can be a product on both sides, depending if it's a yeast or a mammal, obviously, if it's for anaerobic respiration. So let's put that in now at the bottom. We've got a nice color coordination of blue, green, blue, green. So let's make it blue again. So carbon dioxide can be produced. And I'd highly recommend that you don't do what I just did, which is write CO2, instead write out full carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide can be 
produced. Okay, so what else is there? I guess the final thing that we can look at here is that there's H2O on this side. Um, however, this is probably not a best comparison to talk about, so we'll leave that one out. Um, aside from that, let's think about the location of, of where they occur. So anaerobic respiration occurs in the cytoplasm of a cell. So we have a cell on the left hand side here with the nucleus. The um, anaerobic respiration occurs here. Anaerobic respiration. Whereas aerobic respiration occurs in the mitochondria, these little jelly-like things. Yeah, so that's where aerobic respiration occurs. Okay, so that's another difference over here. So in this case, anaerobic respiration occurs in cytoplasm. Whereas over here, for aerobic respiration occurs in mitochondria. So for these uh, two, uh, for these com this compare question, it's relatively easy to get a lot of the points. The main thing is that you need to memorize what's in this red box. Very, very important. If you can memorize that, then you can easily vomit out all this information over here. And now let's look at the number of points that we've got. Remember, this is a medium question, so we're looking for five to six points. So we've got one here, two, three, four, five, and six. So we'll get full marks for this question. There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out, just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions, as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a 7 in high level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right hand corner. Thanks.